It's under the bucket with the Winkler Flyers, and we've got joining us today Carter Dittmer. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Not too bad. So you're from Brandon, right? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about growing up in Brandon, what the hockey scene is like out there. You know, growing up in Brandon, we have the Wheat Kings, and, you know, growing up, always cheering for the Wheat Kings, and, uh, you know, I, it's almost a similarity to here. All the kids have their, you know, their flyers, and when they're in minor hockey, they're always um, on the flyers teams, and that's kind of the same with Brandon. I was always uh, growing up playing on the Wheat Kings, so, yeah, it's pretty similar. Did you get to meet any of, like, uh, the, I guess, legendary kind of Wheat Kings, like, like well, Eric Fair actually being one of them, yeah, yeah. or guys like that? Yeah, you know, obviously, um, when I was growing up, they had the Memorial Cup run. Um, when they lost to Windsor in the finals, I was at all those games, you know, with uh, Taylor Hall and Travis Hamannick. Um And yeah, no, it's <laughs> it's been a lot of good week kings through Brandon in the last few years. So yeah. When it comes to playing junior hockey, obviously you're with the Winkler Flyers now. Um, what's that experience been like from you, and how does that differ from playing here in Winkler as opposed to being in Brandon? You know, obviously in Brandon um, with the Midget AAA program, and here in the MJHL, it's a different. It's a different game, you know. Guys are bigger, guys are faster. It's a, uh, it it was uh, hard for me to kind of adjust to the junior style of play, but you know, now that we're going here in the year, I feel like I've adjusted pretty well, and I'm uh, excited for the last half of the year. What does it mean to you to have like NHL caliber coaches? Oh no, obviously it's amazing. Like I couldn't ask for better coaches. You know, Justin Falk. Um, uh, Ryan White, Eric Fair, even Bates, he's new this year, and uh, they're, no, they're all great. So much um, experience, and you know, no guys you want to learn from more from uh, guys who have been in the NHL, so yeah. Is that something that you, you take with you, and like you, you get to kind of share with friends back home, like, this is this is yeah. my coaching staff here, like, how cool is that? <laughs> yeah, no, obviously they're all kind of like, like, wow, it's a MJHL team, and you guys got three NHL coaches on your bench, and yeah, no, it's pretty crazy. That's awesome. Uh, anything that you enjoyed the most so far this season as far as, like, road trips or anything like that? Obviously, you know, being in the room with the boys, just kind of the, just kind of the culture in the room is kind of different from uh, here. We're more, I feel like we're more of a family than even, you know, back on our AAA Midge team or AAA Bantam and whatever. And, yeah, no, it's been great. That's awesome. Well, it's uh, Under the Bucket, and thanks for dropping by talking to us, and uh, good luck for the rest of the season. Yeah, perfect. Thanks.